I have a Moto G 5G, the 2022 model. I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos and videos directly from your Moto to any Chromebook using the charging cable. And I'm talking about saving the videos and um, photos to the hard drive of your Chromebook. Nothing to do with the Google Cloud, okay? So the first thing to note is the cable that comes with your Moto. It's a USB-A to USB-C. The thing is some of you guys may not have a regular USB-A, a USB port in your Chromebook, okay? If you don't have a USB-A, you can always use a USB-C to a USB-C. Okay, that's if you have a USB-C port on your uh, Chromebook. Okay, anyway, I do have a USB-A. I have a USB-C as well. I can use either cable. I'm just going to use this one for now. So first thing is let me go ahead and plug this in to my Chromebook. Let me close that window out. And now let me go and grab my phone and we're going to transfer it. So now the first thing is I'm going to go ahead and connect my phone. Now when I connect my phone, I should get some kind of message up here. Okay, it says file transfer. What you want to do is click on that. Okay, file transfer, just like that. Okay, now the thing is, if you miss that, the only thing you got to do is just go to notifications. So slide down notifications. And then you see on the very bottom here, it says USB file transfer on. Just tap on that. And then it says tap for more options. Tap it again. And just make sure that it's on file transfer. Okay, by default, it'll. if you didn't choose file transfer, it's going to put it down here. No data transfer, okay? You want it here. File transfer, just like that. And then once you do that, you're going to have this window that pops up. Now, if we look on the left side here, you can see that I found my phone. It says uh, Moto G and it says ID2. So what you want to do is go, these are all the folders uh, on your Moto, okay? You want to go to DCIM folder, DCIM, click on that. And then you want to double click on camera. And then you can see all your photos and videos here. I know that they're photos if it has a JPG extension, all right? I know that your videos, it has a MP4 extension, okay? So now from here, the thing is, this is a Chromebook. This is not like a Windows computer. So it's not like you can like choose this photo here and drag and drop it to the desktop because if you drag and drop it, let it go, it's gonna wing it back down. So what you need to do is this. Now, if we look on the left side here, look, let me go ahead and scroll all the way up. So if you scroll all the way up, now you see my files, okay? Now, everything in my files is saved to the hard drive. So what you want to do is go to my files and you just want to make a new folder here, okay? So I'm going to double click on my trackpad. I'm going to click on new folder here. And I'll name this one Moto. And now under downloads, I have a folder called Moto. So what I can do from here, I can drag and drop each one individually or what I typically do, I'll just highlight all of them. And then I'm going to drag and drop into that new folder I called Moto. Drop it right there, let go. Go ahead and let it copy. You can see that it's copying, transferring right there. All right. Copying seven items to Moto. It says complete. Let me go ahead and unplug my phone. And now you can see, let me just close this window again. So that new folder, let me go to my files here. Oops. Sorry, actually, I'll go back to the start menu here and I'll go to files here to that same window that opened up. And now you can see under my files and then right under that is the Moto right there. And there's all my photos and videos now on the hard drive of this Chromebook. Okay, pretty simple. Questions or issues, just comment below. All right, good luck.